Just reminding myself of what episode we are. We're episode 67. Uh, welcome to No Brush Required. My name's Tamara Grant, and I'm going to invite my co-host, Barbara Reed, on. These joints lately. Hi, Melody. How are you? Hey. Hello, hello. Good afternoon. Seamless. <laughs> Hey, Douglas is there. I was all Brenda. waiting for it. To, you know, Hi, Brenda. The last couple times we've chatted, I've invited you and nothing's I happened. Know. I know. I thought today I'd cooperate. Oh, well, that was kind of you. <laughs> I thought so. I thought so. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing today? I'm good. I, I banged my finger, though, in class this morning. Ooh, and it's starting to go kind of gray and I can see it. I'm going to end up with like a full, full finger bruise. Okay. <laughs> so a toe and a finger and yeah. what's left for you guys. <laughs> well, this is, this is, this is nothing compared to Roman's I know. foot, but he, he's know. doing well. He's doing well. He's got uh, more mobility and he drove today. Don't tell his surgeon. I hope his surgeon <laughs> is not watching. <laughs> I don't think so. How are you? I'm, I'm good. Um, I don't know where the summer's gone. I'm feeling like all of a sudden this panic, like how is it possibly the 8th of August already? And you know how this goes, mm -hmm. even though you're a retired teacher and my kids, I'm not really in a, in a school year calendar anymore. I still have that sense mm -hmm. of, okay, August, it's time to start gearing up. Oh, I know. I, and honestly, if I was still teaching, this would probably be my last free week. And then I'd st oh, start going into the classroom next week to get it set up. Yeah. That actually just gives me like a stomach ache. To think. Sorry, I apologize to any teachers out there, but <laughs> it's true. And then we, we have, we would have had meetings starting mid August and, and like parent welcome barbecues and yeah. Oh my gosh. Yeah getting ready for curriculum night, which was always like the first full week of school. And Douglas, I know it's part of it's because we live in the Pacific Northwest and I, I think Douglas, our summer doesn't even get going until the first or second week of July, right? Yeah. And then all of a sudden it's, it's, it looks like fall. It feels like fall out here just because we're in severe drought. So everything's dead. The trees- Oh, are you? Yeah, the tree, well, there's a lot of trees that don't look great. The grass is brown. Um, it just has that sort of, Fall is coming feeling already. I'm sorry. Oh, like well. we're, we've, we've had, I, I hate to say it, we've had a fair bit of rain, so everything looks quite good. But we've had summers before, like what you're having, where everything just looks dead. Lawns are brown and trees look parched. Yeah. And, but no, this, is, this has been, you know, pretty good rain-wise. But yeah. you guys need the rain. I'll send you the rain. Yeah, summer starts July 5th in Seattle, just like Vancouver, Douglas. Yeah. I'm <laughs> um, getting any of the scrolling comments. You're getting all the cool scrolling comments. You can't see them? They've stopped. <sighs> well, we're going to get into some of this today, I think. Um, our frustrations with Instagram. Um, we, yeah. have a couple, we have a couple of guests. I'm going to go ahead and introduce them and, and bring them on. Um, they're friends of many of ours. You guys will probably know them. We have Jeanette Bergstrom and Terry Wilson coming to join us today to chat. Happy dance. And let me just see if I can grab them. I see Terry right there, and I see Jeanette. You and do I met... a double a double invite. You can do I... like I just did. Hi. Woo. Two Hi, for Tara. Tuesday. Two... Hi, Terry. Hi. 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 You did that perfect. Let's see what happens. But we lost uh, Barbara. Is Bar we did. Uh -oh. I'm still uh -oh. here. I can see her. Can you guys not see her? No. no, she's just spinning. She's a spinning wheel. Black oh. box with a spinning wheel. Okay. What I've happened? got her here. I, I'm, okay. pro, like, I'm not frozen, but my comments rolled. <laughs> Another part of our topic today. <laughs> Barb, do you want to leave and come back? Okay. okay. <laughs> Bye. Bye. See you next week. <laughs> can't even what hear do do? her. Just, uh -uh. just hit your X and I'll call you back. Okay, this is one of the things we're going to talk about today. Douglas can see everybody. Okay, it's just, I don't know. I don't know. She's not spinning in Douglas, in Dundas, says Mark. Now she's spinning for me. 
Okay. I'm um, in SoCal. Let me see if I can I'm in SoCal. grab her. Uh-oh. I hope I didn't just like send her I off. Into the, I don't even have her as an invite to join now. <gasps> uh -oh. Barb, you're still here. You're still here. Every, everyone, can, they, everyone can see okay. her except for us, which is okay. so weird. No, but she left. She did leave. Okay. Me. So okay. I'll try her again. And if everyone else can see her, I don't know what to do. Holding breath. <laughs> She's gone now. Yes, Bonnie, because she X'd off, but I did invite her back. And oh no, oh no. <laughs> Let's switch to StreamYard. <laughs> Far away you. Maybe she's got an internet issue. I'll invite her again. Do, 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 do. Um, this is one of the things we just love about lives is the lack of control we have over technology and anything that we do, right? Yeah. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Um, Barbara, where are you? I invited her. I did invite her, I swear. <laughs> try one more time. If not, then try to have her request and see if that helps. I don't even know if she's watching us now. Barbara, if you're here, send me a request. Use your plus signal so she's unable to join. So this is, I just messaged you guys before we had this problem when she couldn't actually get on. Barb, if you hit your plus button at the bottom in the video camera, that's a request. Remember we tried that before? This is just one more thing that Instagram is doing that's driving me nuts. Yeah. Mm. Oh. Here we go. We handled the trouble well. <laughs> yeah. I need a drink. <laughs> First of all, I left and then everything went black and I thought, oh great. And and then just the spinny wheel. And so I exited Instagram. I texted you. I don't know. Sorry. I do not disturb on when we're on, so I don't get texts purpose. Oh. <laughs> so well. Enough Anyways, that. okay. Nice to see you, Terry. Thanks so much for having and chatting with us, guys. It's we haven't had um, a, a two guest episode for a long for, time, so it's going to be kind of on Tuesday. Thank you for inviting us, and we had you both on our show, and it was such a lovely, a lovely discussion. So I uh, thank you for letting us come on your show. Absolutely. Oh, no, Absolutely. we are so happy to have you here. So we have a little bit of an agenda. There's some yeah. things we want to talk about. We do. Um, but we want to give you each just a quick minute to talk separately about yourselves. So you can tell everybody who you are, where you're from, what kind of art you make. Um, and so, Terry, you're in my top corner. Why don't you go first? Uh, okay, no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, my name is Terry Wilson. I live in the greater Seattle area, Puyallup, for anybody that knows this area. And uh, I started my art journey about three years ago, actually three years ago, the beginning, beginning of this month. And I left a career that was really not for me anymore and was kind of mourning that and decided I've never painted or done any kind of art um, training anything like that and so I just kind of jumped in and uh, I met Jeanette through the process and we became fast friends and it's so nice to have her alongside me to encourage me and tell me you're doing awesome keep going and we we, we help each other that's why we that well she invited me to join her on our show which is if this canvas could talk uh, where we share um, our journey of actually building an art business from scratch and what that entails, what we're running up against, the, the, the positives that we have and the negatives and how we're navigating all of that. So it's been an incredible journey. And I paint whimsical, abstract, floral art, I guess. Yeah. I, yeah. I would definitely use the word whimsical when I see your work. <laughs> yes. Um, I think of fairy lights and like yes. little gnome forests and just um, <laughs> imaginary, joyful things. Land. Is the perfect word. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. ah, thank all you. Th all things lovely and gentle and yeah. Thank, thank Summer you. breezes. Awesome. Thank you. So we will get to talking about if this canvas can talk and where you guys have gone. That's a big part mm -hmm. of what we're talking about today. But we'll give Jeanette um, 
a moment to shine and put yeah. her on the spot. Uh, so thank you. Thank you, um, Tamara. You were my inspiration for doing um, a live Instagram initially. I was inspired by both you and Barbara when we started, like right after the pandemic. And I thought, well, they can do it. We can do it too. <laughs> if we can do it. Yeah. Can do it. So I thought, you know, you guys are my inspiration. So I did want to give you the credit for the whole thing because uh -huh. you guys started us on it. But um, I do um, <clears throat> seascapes, landscapes, and then abstract um impressionism and i'm i'm in a transition phase um where i'm trying to abstract my seascapes and landscapes more and it's a struggle like yeah. it's not as easy so mm -hmm. i'm in a transition period i'm also going through a transition with my work uh because I, I still have to work to to pay for things <laughs> so i'm in a transition with that as well totally switching careers from creative director to uh, advocacy work for uh, the disabled, mentally disabled. Right. So it's a huge switch, nothing mm -hmm. I've ever experienced before. So I'm doing a lot of learning and training. So anyway, so I'm lagging a little bit with my Instagram posting, but but anyways, thank you for, again, for the inspiration. But it sounds like, if, do you, I'm just gonna ask is, do you think it's coincidental that the shift in your art is coming at the same time as the shift mm. in your career? <laughs> I think I have had less patience on trying something that doesn't serve mm. my core. I feel like I'm, and, and, and Terry can testify to this, we've had lots of discussions around this, about doing a job that doesn't, <clears throat> or I, I loved what I did, but the companies I worked for, it was always about the bottom line, yeah. and it just gets old. Mm -hmm. And, mm -hmm. and the pandemic did that for a lot of people, I think, reevaluating what what makes a difference to you. Mm -hmm. And I have a story, if it's, I don't want to take too long, but Go when, I was in, mm -hmm. when I was in kindergarten, I re distinctly remember being in kindergarten and only wanted to paint on the easel. I didn't want to do, because they would shift you around to different stations. Yep. All I wanted to do was paint the easel. So it's been in me forever, and I've never dedicated really any true time to it until um i lost my my job um over the pandemic and then that's that's when i really reevaluated and said you know what so yeah i think i'm going through like discovering mm -hmm. just starting to create art and posting it and putting it out there and now i'm like transitioning into what really means something to me mm -hmm. internally so no, yeah why, i don't know why, why um why do you want to take your landscapes and then abstract them more just out of curiosity? Cause it's, I, I feel like I'm not a good realistic painter. I also tend to get into the details, but I never can make it. It never, fe it feels like I'm trying to do something that is not natural. Oh. Mm -hmm. So, and, and, and I'm attracted to the abstract mm -hmm. art that I see mm -hmm. from other artists. Like to me, that's what I would want to put on my wall. Mm -hmm. So I want to paint things that I would want to put on my wall. So, um, yeah. So I just, I just did this one and this one, I don't think is abstract enough. I don't know if you guys well, can see it. It's not a, it's showing up it's, very well. Yeah, <laughs> I, I, I think there's a lot of a lot of people that have been in sort of my sphere that I've watched make the shift from representation to the abstract, and it certainly seems like it happens in steps. Yes. Yeah, right. So the 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 and the last big hurdle for a lot of people is getting rid of the horizon line. Yes. Yeah. Uh, absolutely. Oh, absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. I mean, and when you think about it, humans like it's in our brains. Yeah. We're wired to look for horizons, right? We're always yeah. we see them from the time we're born, and so um, that I, it'll be interesting to watch you and whether and when that happens, because mm -hmm. it'll probably happen at some point, right? Yeah. yeah it's to not, where was that a rectangular substrate? The way you, you just Sorry. held yes. that. Yes. Okay, yes. So, Barb's tip: try a square okay. because then you can keep flipping it around and you don't have this landscape. Like that's a, to me, a, a rectangle is a landscape format. Yeah. So yeah. if yeah. you try a square, cause that's, that was me too. I was like, everything had a horizon line. Everything had a, I couldn't get away from horizon lines. And um, 
the nice thing about the square is you can rotate it. So if something starts look, looking landscapey, just flip it upside down and, and go at it again. Okay, I love and, that. Yeah. Love that tip. I'm going to work on give, that. Give it a try. I was but, also and, using canvases that, you know, the le a little less expensive canvases because yeah. I knew I was just experimenting right now. But they're, they're, I don't like them, so I'm yeah. <laughs> struggling with them. So I like the idea of, of starting something different. So I'm, I'm going to try that next. Yeah. Thanks, and palette, Brad. palette too. Yeah, I, I love turquoise. I love <laughs> yeah, turquoise I love blue water. Sky. I am obsessed with the ocean and yeah. turquoise blue water. So I yeah. always end up with something turquoisey. Yeah. yeah. That's you, awesome. you know, you'll get there, you'll get there, but it will be as Tamara said, it's going to be like in stages. One day you're going to go, oh my God, that's an abstract. I can yeah. see like AP essences to it, but it's not representational. Yeah. yeah. So that's what I'm working towards. So well, slowly but surely. <laughs> Thank so, you. So you both started painting then around, I mean, during the pandemic, but around the same time. And then you connected what on Instagram on? We, we were in, um, Terry can talk to this. We no, were in ahead. another, we were in another on, uh, uh, online class, uh, Jess Hughes. Oh, okay. We yeah. had joined mm -hmm. her membership for a while. We're not in it anymore, but that's where Terry, the media, there was some subject. Class. Yeah, it was media, how, how to get on the media, which was very valuable at oh, the time. She doesn't yeah. offer it anymore, but that was the, the reason why we we joined was because that media class, it was because we didn't know how yeah. to do <clears throat> media. And it does accelerate. If you can get on some bigger shows, it does help accelerate your membership and your following mm -hmm. it. So, um, but Terry had said something in one of those lives, you know, where you do the lives when you're in a membership or whatever, you get, a, mm -hmm. you know, so many lives where mm -hmm. the coach is kind of helping you. And Terry made a comment and I was like, oh my God, she is speaking exactly what's in my head. <laughs> and so I just, I reached out to her afterwards and said that exact same, like, and then we just became fast friends. Yeah. I what did you it. say, so, Terry? I, want to know I what have no said. idea, but what blows me away about that is that I waited so long to even say anything. I spent most of the class and the Zooms that we had just being quiet, like a little church mouse. And because I had such incredible imposter syndrome, like it was my first real class that I took with any other artists um, since I had started. And I think that that was probably the context of what I was saying was like, you know, here we're, I'm taking this media class, but I don't, what do I say when I get on the media? I don't know. I, my, my story isn't valid. It isn't all of those things that we, those lies that we tell ourselves. And so I would imagine that somewhere in there, Jeanette felt the same. I mean, I think we all struggle with trying to pump ourselves up and, and help ourselves remember who we are and what we're capable of because that, that other crazy voices in there just yeah wreaking havoc sometimes yeah. you know it's a little troublemaker right yeah yeah for sure it's a server. we get to say shit now in this right yeah we do okay. go for it oh we do was that not a thing i missed no. that shit, we shit. Gave no we're shit <laughs> Barb and I, I listen to Smart and our reach. Somehow. We listen to Smartless too much, and oh, we don't God. swear and talk oh, about porn. Well, I won't say that because we might get in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> um, so fast forward, you guys became fast friends, and then you decided to start a live together. Right, right, because I saw you guys doing yeah. it, and it was back when um, you know we're trying to build our following and we had such a connection and I thought, you know, it sure is a lot easier to do it with someone mm -hmm. than to do it by yourself. Cause you know, like, what are you going to talk about by yourself all the time? <laughs> so I was like, whatever's in your mind. Right. <laughs> right. <laughs> right. And we were in, in the media class. And so I said, you know, I, I reached, I only had, I think I did one by myself and then one, I had another artist on and just talked to her and I thought, well, why not just do mm -hmm. it with Terry? And, so I really did model it after you two. So oh, you, you guys get all the credit. <laughs> that's so nice. And so, but we've evolved. We've evolved. And now Terry, um, I'll, I'll transition us into, she took the lead on getting us on to StreamYard. Um, I was more hesitant because I love Instagram. I'm not a big mm -hmm. Facebook fan, even though I'm on it. I'm not a big Facebook fan, but I did love the idea of being, and so she brought up the idea of YouTube. So, uh, okay, so I just, I just, so, I, 
I, even though I might've initiated the Instagram one, she's full on getting us onto StreamYard and getting us onto YouTube and okay. I love it. So I, I'm so gonna let So stop her... for just a second and no. tell people you've moved from Instagram and you're now doing lives and not everybody knows what StreamYard is. I, oh, I don't okay. know what sure. StreamYard is. So. so just tell us about, tell, I want to talk about where you are now. And then I want to talk about some of the things that might have precipitated that shift yeah. because I know Barbara and I are experiencing some hiccups with this platform too. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Well, I will say why we were growing because we still don't have a ton of followers. So we thought, and Terry said this, this is a great, if we we're going to try something else, this is a great time and a way to reach more people. Okay, yeah. so what's StreamYard? Tell us about StreamYard. Well, StreamYard is a live, um, it's a platform to be able to do a live stream on multiple uh, social media platforms. So we can be live right now, and it depends on what you pay for. There's a free version, there's the middle version, and there's the top version, right? And so depending on what you pay for, you can be live in many, many different places. For us, we just decided to kind of try it small, of course, one, to see if we liked it. Um, and uh, we are able to be live right now at, at on our YouTube. So we created a YouTube channel to support it and to be able to have them live there for people that want to see it that can't be live. And we can be live on that. And then we can be live on Facebook, uh, and one other one, but right now, of course, Instagram is not playing with in the sandbox with these other apps for you to be able to be live on it uh, at this moment. We're hoping that that will change in the future if they decide to, but we can't wait for them to make decisions for what's best for them. We have to be, I just thought it would be smart for us to be more in control over our content than letting it be dictated by Instagram, who we know is is constantly changing and making decisions that are best for them. Mm -hmm. and, so, and, and, how, how, oh, sorry, go. go I was on. just going to say, and I do ultimately want us to get back on Instagram. I'm still doing other lives on Instagram mm -hmm. um, because it is my favorite, but I. Uh, but I also agree that um, the option to be on YouTube also gives us, and I'll let Terry talk to this too, also gives us an, an option for monetizing, which mm -hmm. is not as easy on Instagram. Mm -hmm. But ultimately, I, I would like us to try to figure out how to connect StreamYard and Instagram. That would be my goal, ultimately. I'm surprised so it doesn't exist because Meta owns Facebook and Instagram. So I know. They're it, doing it on one of the platforms. You, how many conversations have we had about the fact that Meta owns the two and they should be able to just yeah, do this, seamless. But, they, they, but they don't. So I don't know what's going on with them. But again, you know, we're all building businesses. And so it's like you have to make the choices that are in the long term going to be beneficial to us, which is that um one we want to grow right so being able to be exposed to the largest amount of people at the same time just made sense because why not right so and eventually instagram will get on board and then we'll we'll be able to be live with them at the same time but the other really cool thing that i didn't even know about Streamyard until we started to get into it is that with our guests like say that we had you guys on our show first of all we can have up to like 10 people on the show at a time um and you guys can stream live to your people at the same time we're streaming live to our people so it's like a whole big party happening where we're getting exposure to each other's uh community right. and growing organically in that way because your your community is gonna say oh my god i love jeanette terry i'm gonna start following them and then we and so same happened when you guys were on our show everybody loved you and so they start and so it kind of just builds our our communities simultaneously well, which is very okay. exciting it sounds like it's easier because when this live here, I have no way of linking to you guys while we're right. live. Like it's not like we're on, on Skype and there's a little name in the bottom corner. So people who come on here now are looking at it going, who are those four women? Right. <laughs> like it's right. hard for them to know. 
So can I ask stupid questions, rookie questions? Is StreamYard, no. Oh, <laughs> no, yes. you can. No, you yeah. I, I was going to say, no, you can uh, ask. There is no, stupid, no, no stupid, stupid questions. questions. <laughs> no stupid questions. Anyways, is StreamYard an app? Uh, I would or say, it, it, you know, I don't even know if they have an app, actually. I'm pretty sure they probably do, but we use it on the desktop or not necessarily my desktop, on our, on our phones and my tablet is how we're doing it right now. Um, and we just are log on to their website right okay. from there and then we're doing it all in their yeah. place. It's through, it's through the website right now. Um, I don't know if I downloaded an app. I think I did download an app on my desktop, but I'm using my desktop instead of my phone mm. when we do go live. I haven't tried it on my phone yet, so that may be something I try. But I, I log into my desktop. I log into, um, actually, Terry sends me an invite. Um, but there is a member. There is a fee that mm -hmm. actually Terry paid for. So she had to pay for the membership to use StreamYard because mm -hmm. the free one is just not, doesn't yeah. give you enough. Um, so she is paying for that to use the service. Um, but it's then- 20, I think it's like $25 a month. And so we decided, I discussed it with my husband who of course is my business partner and does all the techie stuff, uh, which is wonderful because my brain does not do that. Um, and we just decided let's do it for four months mm -hmm. and you know do that monetary commitment see how we like it and his motto is it's not permanent that's what he keeps yep. trying to get into my brain right nothing's permanent so if we don't like it we can always <laughs> go back to doing instagram live the issue with instagram live and why why this even came up was one the glitches that you we just experienced you know with that and that we're not live on each other's thing at the same time. So we're always live on the person that initiates it. And then you have to do the right. replay later for the other person's followers, which is fine. There's not an issue with that. But because there's something else out there mm -hmm. that can do it simultaneously, why not check it out? So that was it. And just the fact that, like, Barbara, you're always on the bottom of the screen, right? And the words are always across your face. Oh, and God, it's, God. you know, it's <laughs> and that I know, was I feel the too. same way. So it was like, I'm tired of words being across my face. Like, I, 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 I want to be seen. No. <laughs> well, yeah. and, I, and I will say this, Tamara, you know this, because I've had to ask you this when we first started. I asked you a bunch of tech questions. So after you end the live, then you got to put in the subtext, and then you got and you got to do it all right then. Otherwise, Oof. you lose the recording. Yes. So it's like a lot yes. of like stuff you have to do. Where with Streamyard, I don't have to do anything. Just Nothing. It automatically Wait. goes. Yeah. It goes to our YouTube channel, and so I don't yeah. have, We're have to touch it. I mean, well, and I'll tell you, there's been some other new new things that Barb and I have been struggling with. So. Um, on Instagram, you used to be able to, after a live, there was a button that said save and you would download right. it immediately. It would be on your phone. Oh, right. So it would be in your photo album. And then that stopped working. So that was like no announcements, but you could no longer save your live. Um, but we found a workaround because there was an app called, there's an app called Insta, Insta Save, Instant Save. Yeah. And if you, after we've published the law, after we've saved, put the live up, the replay up, we can go into the app, we can use it to access Instagram and copy the link over there. And then it'll pull it into that app. And then you can save it and download it to your phone. So I was doing that and yeah. then uploading to YouTube. So we had ownership of our content. As of two weeks ago, neither of us have been able to use mm. the instant save app. The same day it stopped working. Okay. So so I have a, maybe work a workaround. Yeah. So once you once you right after the live ends and you upload it and you said share right because you have to do that in order to save the so people can watch the replay share it then you can go back into your archive and click oh, from on it through archive and then i download it to my phone that's only oh. my account though barb you so it has to, to be that. yeah mm -hmm. so then i would have to send it via we transfer to Terry so she had the video. But then she can't upload it because it's always too long to upload oh, yeah. to live. Right. Yes. So right. These are it's, 
these have been the problems, right? And I understand that they want to make it hard for us to own content off the platform. Um, the other thing that they, they changed recently is before when I would save, I have a series on my page yes. that's no, called No Brush Required. They got rid of that to, and you used to hit save to yes. series just before yeah. you shared. It doesn't exist on my my account okay, anymore. I'll have to see when I do my next live. I'll have to there see. There was on, no I'm save it. to series. So okay. Why don't they want us to be able to do this? Yeah. Like I just I don't get it because like what's the benefit to Instagram for us not to be able to do this? Because we can market okay. it someplace else and take it off their platform. Right. They want everyone to be on the platform as long as possible and not go anywhere else which is why you have to be tricky it's a little I, it hasn't happened yet but it's in the back of my mind of like okay so when we start posting these posts say hey leave here and go to our youtube channel are they going to push those out in the algorithm because they don't want people to leave and go over there but before we get too far off of this i just wanted to say that one of the major benefits for me of Streamyard so far has been the fact that when you have an issue with something that isn't working or that you want to be able to do, they have a YouTube channel that explains how to do, they have a bazillion videos that actually walk you through how to do every single thing that you can possibly do on the platform to help you so that you can be successful. We created an intro, we created an out, uh, you know, to save this, subscribe, like, which we're still getting those little, working those kinks out. Uh, and we're going to update it, I think, tomorrow when we do our live. Um, but, you know, our names are up there. Our guest name is up there. There's just a lot of things that make it look more substantial, yeah. more professional, you know, more real. More like a podcast. Like, yeah. Like a... Yeah. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, so that, exactly. That is the discussion Terry and I had. We said, well, because a lot of people go from Instagram Live to doing right. a podcast. But we like the video aspect of it because we're artists, yeah. right? So we I thought that feeds more into doing we demos. We share. We show things, yeah. right? Yes. And, it, and it, yes. It, it, it's naturally a feed into demos and things like that versus just talking. So, And I know there's a way you can tape the videos, but we just decided. And then Terry found out about, um, tell them about the monetization for you too. Because that was also a factor that I thought, well, that's amazing. Like, we that would be great to have eventually. Yeah. I mean, because, you know, we're going to grow and we are growing. We I looked at our analytics uh, after our last show and I think we're like at like our first show was like six people. And, you know, now we're moving over. So there's going to be a lag of people coming with you. Um, but we went from like six to 10 to 15. And then this last one we just did, we had 40, almost 50 people wow. uh, that watched it on YouTube specifically you know other people watched it because it not only does it save it live uh straight to our youtube and we don't have to do anything but it also saves it right into your facebook where you're live as well so you don't it's just living there on our wall and we don't have to send anyone anywhere they can just watch it right from that so again instagram is the only one that is not cooperating with us but the monetization is that um you know, YouTube is has the most robust uh, monetization ability of any of the platforms. And it's super simple because it's based on how many people watch your stuff. So it's based on like once we get to 4,000 hours of being watched, then you can start to monetize it and have partnerships with uh, companies. There's different ways that you can monetize it. So it's th that's also attractive as well, that you have options of how you want to monetize it if you want to. Subscription-based, you can do advertisements, you can do um, where you use a product and then do advertisement with them. Uh, a lot of different things to be able to make money. And people are making a <laughs> lot of money. Placement. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Hey, Golden, exactly. Are you watching? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and then the other thing to be really good on what what you need to get really good on is YouTube. YouTube is the second biggest search engine after Google. So if you can really, you know, dial in and niche in on your SEO, that can really help you in search on YouTube. Because anytime I you think about it, anytime you need to know yeah. to do, how to do something, right. you're curious, I go to right. YouTube and YouTube. I search YouTube. Yeah. And even even Google searches are placing YouTube and video 
results up very, very high. So learning a little bit about SEO can really help you on YouTube where it can't What's help SEO? You. search engine just... and optimization. So yes, what, are okay. the, what are the so... short tail and long tail phrases and words that you want? You, you got to think about if people are searching for something, you have to think about the question. So you do a video about so flat paints. So you want to incorporate in your title and your meta and your description where it's like, you know, what are so flat paints or have you tried golden? So, you know, all those kinds of things that will capture the phrases that people will be searching who want so when we do, um, Terry, when we mm -hmm. do our description and we write in what we talked about on yeah. that episode, that's, they can yeah. search under any of those right. words would come up. And there's actually, so we need to get better at writing those out with that in mind after the end, which is again, something that I think will grow in. It's been a lot of yeah. change and a lot of growth. And I have to say that we were both super nervous about doing it. It's not something that we just did overnight. We, we considered it. I brought it up to Jeanette and just kind of saw, you know, cause I don't want to take over. It's something that we're doing together. So I wanted to make sure that she was on board and, um, while she's been transitioning in her career, this has been something behind the scenes that Tony and I have kind of been, we've had the time to research it and kind of put it all together. So I'm like, all right, you do you over there. I got you over here. And so there will come a time when it'll be yeah. the opposite, you know, and I'll be needing her to take over and do things. But it's been wonderful to try to kind of figure it out. But it, we were nervous to do the switch because anytime you make a change, you know, it's a change and I don't do well with change very much. So, um, but it's been pretty awesome. I don't regret it so far. I mean, Jeanette, how do you feel? I, I think I dragged my feet a little more because, you know, I love my Instagram. Um, yes. So not being on that, but I also love YouTube. Like Tamara said, I built my whole website using YouTube videos on how to do stuff. So I do love you. All my family watches YouTube. So I love that aspect of it. So when I post about our lives, I just refer them to the YouTube channel and I have that in my links palette. Um, so that was my main selling factor. But yeah, she had to drag me a little bit. But another advantage of working with someone and partnering up because they have been a godsend taking this on um, because I wouldn't have had the mental capacity to make it happen. So yeah. I and I love that she's bringing us into like a more modern, you know, not a podcast, but it's it's a, it's as good or better than a podcast, I think. Yeah. Now, when you're doing them, when you're doing your lives, do you have an audience? Yeah. Yes. Oh, a few. Well, yeah. No. Okay. Yeah. We do. <laughs> okay, okay. So if I wanted to watch a live, do I have to be on Streamyard? You go no. to our channel. You can go to this. If this canvas could talk on YouTube, yep. you could look for the channel. Yeah. Or and you can click on that in either one of our bios, or you can go to our Facebook channels. So Jeanette Bergstrom Art or Terry Wilson Art, mm -hmm. and it'll come up that we're live. So oh, go, go to YouTube and search if this campus can talk and subscribe and then tomorrow I did and, and, and um what was I going to say here's the other tomorrow. thing here's the other thing that's so stinking cool about it is that we're live on three platforms so I'm live we're live dual on our YouTube. We're live individually on our own channels on Facebook and everyone that comments, no matter where they are, if they're on YouTube or whatever, they all come through to us and we respond in real time so that we're conversing with people in way all different worlds. You know what? The meta world and the YouTube yeah. world and I love that you can pull their question and you pull that if when when you answer a question or you have a way to pull the question up on the bottom of the screen with their little avatar so I can see who's asking the questions and I can go oh that Barbara Reed sounds really cool I'm gonna go and find out who she is <laughs> yes. yes exactly exactly uh, okay so I didn't know I like I am a total neophyte when it comes to this um, so you need a YouTube channel but I guess we could create a YouTube channel for no yeah. required. Yeah, yeah it's, it's on my list of things we should do and we should move everything over off of my art channel, which has just been the place I've been housing that yeah. in case I, anything bad happens to all our content. That's <laughs> right. always, like, we're always afraid it's all gonna blow up. And then can you have more than one administrator on that? So yes. if both, both of you 
could have editing privileges and all of that, Absolutely. Right? That, that was very important to me that it was yeah. something that we're doing together mm -hmm. and that we both have, uh, you know, uh, access to it and be able to make changes or do whatever. So, like, Jeanette worked on yeah. our the photo. Landing, the landing page. Yeah. And then Terry worked on the videos. And we can both go in and edit the um, the, edit the, the uh, descriptions if yeah. we want. Um, yeah. So and it's it was not great. perfect. Like there no. are there we have a list of things that as we go we're going to work on and change. And we just got some things up there. Uh, like uh, what I'm talking about is like our description. Like we we had sat down and said, okay, what are we gonna? Uh, we did this before, um, but so luckily we had it and it was a rough draft. So Jeanette put it up there. But later we're gonna go back and refine that and make it say you know what we want it to say to explain what we're doing. But I I guess I find myself wanting to wait until everything's perfect in order to go happen. some sometimes it depends on the thing and i'll procrastinate because i'm like it's not ready it's not ready but we just decided to it's not permanent it yeah. just keeps coming back to it's not it's, permanent so it just, we can change yeah. it as we go it's yeah. fluid think about it as fluid right it evolves it's a dynamic yeah. thing like just like you and yeah. like your art yeah. yes and your artist statement <laughs> plus, yeah. It's, yeah, exactly. it's plus we have so, to build we have to build, right? So if we do it now, when you don't have like, you know, 20,000 followers, you can do it and build and start building it. It doesn't have to be perfect. Yeah. So, okay. So if you invite, you should have us on when yeah. you're doing this. We should. We yes. can, we can uh, pick your brain some more. 100%. Um, and we can have you both on at the same time. Yes. We should have had you both on at the same time when we originally did it. But when you reached out to me, I was like, wait, we can have four people. I mean, I didn't even know this was an option. So, but, but we can have you both at the same time and totally yeah. talk about it and walk you through and show you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. If you invite an artist on who isn't familiar with any of that, um, what would they do? Like, would they just hop on your YouTube channel when it's at the mm -hmm. time it starts and then you invite them on? You send them a link, you send them an email link. Okay. And then they click on the email link and then everybody goes into the green room. So we're all oh, like in this okay. green room waiting. And then you have the option of like, bring like you guys your format is set up to where you chit chat a little bit before you bring the guests on so you guys would be able to do that with us sitting in the in the a little green room green you can see room. us there a real green room there's no oh, snacks though yeah no nothing like that you can't send us a writer that tells us what you need to have in there so we can't do that yet but um and then and then uh like with our guest we just had our first guest lee morrison art um last time she was and i spoke to her ahead of time yeah she's amazing um uh, so much info in that huh was that episode 27 yes yes okay so i've I watched <laughs> part of it huh yeah you oh, no. yeah. did you Something research off. it was really but really i good. reached out i reached out to her her and beforehand and I said okay so here are your options you know if you would like to go live with um, the name of the show is if this canvas could talk sorry Julie I just saw that come up before I'll add it in the show okay. notes too okay um, but anyway I asked her you know you have the option if you'd like to be live with your uh, uh, community as well and so she didn't respond to that uh, I think we just talked about so many things that we never really kind of came back around to doing it actually. Um, but there is a component to it to where if your guests do want to stream live to their people at the same time, they would have to do a few steps ahead of time um, to just like go on the stream yard and add in where they want it to go live. It has to know where you want it right. to go. Right. So, if you have a guest that's maybe not uh, very technologically savvy, that might be a little pain point that you might have to walk them through. But I think it's not that hard. I think people could could do it. Um, but something to think about. But it is an option to have them be live. Now, when you show like okay. Sorry, I'm, I'm the five year old. 
who has the questions. <laughs> so I noticed on your Instagram feed, you have like a little promo reel for your, but clicking on that, it's just the promo reel. I would actually have to go into your link tree or whatever, and then click yes. on your YouTube. Or, okay, so there's no, there's no, there's uh, no way of showing it on Instagram as well. Not right now. In stories, there is. In stories, there is because you can add a link now in the stickers. That's true. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So that's kind of what we've been doing uh, afterwards. Is on Instagram is like, hey, if you want to see it uh, replay, click here. And then I've been doing the link and then the little sign that's yeah. like click here click because here. sometimes people don't know that that's an actual link. But that is one way that you can do it. But the story is not. You know, it's only 24 hours. And yeah. then the post ahead of time, like uh, Terry said, in the in the story ahead of time, when I'm just saying, hey, we're going, we're going to be going live, I'll put the link of the YouTube channel. Cool. Yes. So. Oh, wow. That's great. Yeah. That's a so lot. Much information. I've learned yeah. a lot. <laughs> we have. We have. I have a feeling over the next few months that you guys are going to be uh, messaging us with questions as you go through, which is perfectly fine. If we can help in any way, if you decide to try it, um, definitely let us know. Cause yeah. hey, awesome. pay Tamara back for helping me when I was going yeah. live on Instagram. Yeah, it's a pay it forward always. That's what it's all about. And that's yeah. what our whole show is about yeah. is, yeah. you know, sharing our journey of what we're yeah. going through the good and the bad and the frustrating and the happy and the joy and all of it, because it's building a business, no matter what art or otherwise is full of a roller coaster of things. And, I think it's important for people to know one that you don't have to be perfect to do it and two that um oh. i forgot my turn of thought of where i was going to go because i my brain apparently fragmented that into a million little thoughts <laughs> i'm going to add to that Squirrel. i'm, I'm going to add to what Taylor Squirrel. just said because you guys when we first started i would spend like an hour before i went live getting ready and i know you guys can attest to this so just doing it gives you the practice and you slowly get more and more comfortable. Like yeah. Terry and I were going back to our, like our first show, yeah. we were kind of nervous yeah. We kind of had things planned out exactly how, what we we're going to talk. And then it got more organic and more yeah. natural, but yeah. it took doing it to get there. <laughs> and I think we're still growing and we'll start le learning, yeah. still getting better, but you have to just start yeah. like what's, yeah. what's Tony saying? If you want change it's not to permanent. Happen. If you if if you want to change something, you gotta change yeah. something. Yeah. And you gotta have something to change in order to change something. Right. So if yeah, you don't do it because you're afraid, like you've got nothing to go on. So yeah. I mean, I, we stumbled into this. We didn't we didn't know what we were doing. <laughs> Some days we still don't. Oh. But that's <laughs> and, and, and that's that not that right. Oh. Yeah, that's right. That was that fragmented thing. I remember it was basically that you're not alone. You know, yeah. when you are building something, sometimes you can it and we are in a very solitary, you know, uh, journey because we create at home in or in our studios or whatever. So to put the information out there that you're not alone, you're not the only one going through it. We all feel the same way. I think that there's that that connection of that we're all going through the same stuff, even not just art, but life in general. We have so many more commonalities mm -hmm. than we have, Different you know, ways. not. That if we can connect on those and help each other and lift each other up, that's where our success is going to come from and i think that that's the beauty of what i found of being a part of the artist community i was so afraid that everyone was going to turn their nose up to me and be like you're not an artist get the heck out of here but that has not been the case at all and no. so to give that back and to to have these platforms you guys and ours as well of like hey we're all in this together let's do it it's awesome and just being authentic and, and just like telling telling people exactly what it is and not having to have this persona a different persona nobody judges or if they do bye it's yeah. not about our business either right, right? like True. none of our yeah. business they think of us which is another <laughs> expression that i love well, and we also know that we think they think about us way more than they actually are they don't, <laughs> they don't, they don't. Oh, honestly, we're forgotten very quickly. So yeah. Well, there's a lot yeah. to digest. Yeah, I know you've had a couple comments saying lots of great information and um, God, we got to start looking into this. 
Yeah. Somebody did ask, um, we've had lots of tech talk and we haven't talked about art today. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> that's okay. Sometimes yeah. that happens. Um, yeah. Sometimes we, we, we know we did do a little bit of art talk at the beginning and you can see little bits of paintings behind all of yeah. us. Everybody lean <laughs> and show them what you're working on. There we oh. go. <laughs> oh, <okay. laughs> we saw what this guy. the farm's working on. Oh, yeah, I love it. Gorgeous. That was the last realistic one, though. I, that's as real as it's going to be. No, that's as realistic as it gets. And I'm moving on from this. This is my last one, I think. My son looked at this piece, my 19-year-old, who I think has no interest in art at all. And he said, that looks like balloon dogs. And I was like, you know about balloon dogs? Yeah. That's, that's I like balloon what? Balloon dogs? Balloon dog? You know? No, yeah, you make some little glass. Oh yeah, like no, the, but the, the the Jeff Koons glass sculpture, oh, yeah, right? Yeah, called yeah, the, yeah, the yeah, one yeah. that's more famous because somebody broke it in a gallery yeah. by bumping their bag into it. Yeah. But I was like, how yeah. do you know about that? But Good for him. but isn't he the same sculptor who did the bean in Chicago? Yes, Is I he think the same? so. Yes, yeah, so. so. and he was just in Chicago and saw the bean. So, anyways, he came down and he looked at that, and that's exactly what he said. And I'm like, wow. <laughs> well, there. Oh. And Tamara, I, I wanted to ask you about that too, because you went through your, your uh, residency and that's something that, you know, I wish I had that to, to transition. Um, how do you feel like after you've done that? Well, like, well t technically I took a six month sabbatical from my, uh, my other job, which was kind of a, it's a part-time job. Um, and I just put six months at the end of it because I didn't really know how to say, I didn't know what how much time to give myself and I had to tell people, you know, I wasn't coming back for six months. In fact, I didn't think I was really going to come back at the end of six months. Um, and it's been really, really wonderful to be able to just get really dialed into my work. My studio has expanded. My studio practice has expanded. Um, and the short answer is I'm going back in a very limited capacity to working in the fall, but um, I'm going to be teaching two classes a week at a time that I want to with small groups. So it's more small group coaching and training because I work in the fitness industry and uh, no pressure to do more than that. I'm just going to do what I normally don't do. Normally I go all in on everything. And this is what happened post pandemic. I started taking all these classes on because, mm -hmm. and, and it was, too much so i'm just mm. dipping my toe in and i'm i'm enjoying the studio time and i actually have a lot of plans for um myself for the next year with respect to my art so yay i love it i love it how about you barbara me yeah <laughs> well i'm retired i'm fully retired so this is what i do and okay. uh, i'm kind of I've, I've had work in a few shows over the summer there's still uh the show at Blitz Gallery in Toronto just got extended to the 17th of August, which is great. Yeah, awesome. um, yeah. yeah I'm yeah. kind of looking. I'm looking for those kinds of opportunities. Um, not nothing. I'm not looking aggressively, but you know, I've definitely got my eyes peeled for things like that to come out. Because as you know, and and talking to your recent guest with those juried shows and those curated shows, you just put it out there and every time you, you submit something you have a better uh, kind of a better approach for the next time and when you do start getting positive feedback it kind of spurs you on to do more so yeah just more of that um we, we have a trip coming up it's awesome yeah. i love it yeah and terry yeah. terry's doing a show coming up here too and no not yeah. to november i have a while to oh, go okay. it's in november but yeah um, uh, I'm back at the art fair that I did in the spring, which was my first one. So I reapplied with the jury for the fall, got in. That's a bigger show, so I'm excited. We did some tweaks to my booth, and uh, so we're, we're, we've committed to doing three so that we could see, you know, what um, the pattern is and the, what, what, who the uh, visitors are if it's my people all of those things so I'm I'm very excited yeah for that coming up and so I've kind of taken the summer off we 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 mm -hmm. hit on that I think on your last yeah. show of like how do you balance summer with paint and so I've I worked on a commission and then now I'm just kind of off Tony's off for the next month until he starts another job and so we're just gonna relax and if I paint I paint yeah um and then I think in the fall I'll hit it and do some more things for that show but yeah 
it's when nice to have those options. To, yeah, when the weather starts to keep you indoors, I find that's yeah. when I spend more time doing yeah. this. Um, yeah, we only have a short amount of time I in the know. Pacific Northwest to enjoy the sun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so well, that's well, great. That's, thanks. You know what? We're almost at an hour, and uh, we could have talked longer, and I think we should talk about exhibitions and shows another time, yeah. too, and fairs, because uh, that seems to be something that we're all sort of dipping our toes in the water on as well. Yeah. We, so, learned, yeah. we learned so much from um, our last mm -hmm. show um, with everything that Lee told us. It was it was a good one. She had a lot of good info. Yeah, yeah. she did. Yeah. yeah. Thank well, you Sarah. guys for having us so much. This has been amazing. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. My goodness, that was terrific. Like so much food for thought. We'll send you dates so that you guys can come on and then try it with us. Yeah. Live. Sounds fun. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Okay. All right. All right. Well, thank you for hanging. Thanks I'm going to go. Ice okay. Now go try to save this. <laughs> yeah. Good luck. Yeah. Good luck. Yeah. You just jinxed it. Oh, so oh. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay. Apologize to the uh, Instagram gods. Instagram okay. gods. Sorry. Yes. Ignore sorry. Sorry. Her. Ignore her. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So thanks, everybody, for watching. The replay will be up shortly. If you're just catching us, it's no brush required. And um, we were just chatting with our friends from If This Canvas Could Talk. I will put all of the links to everybody's accounts in the show notes. Thank Have you. Bye. Bye. Have a great day. Thanks, Bye, guys. everyone. Bye. Talk soon.